Hey guys, here with some more gun mods. If you watched my previous video, you probably saw the aluminum piece I was turning on the lathe that slid over my stainless steel barrel. Well, it's more or less complete, at least complete enough for a test firing here. Let me show you what I did. So as you know, my gun used to be a muzzle loader, and now it is breech loading. We get the camera set up and I'll go over some of the features with it real quick for you. Alright, so as you can see, I've got a slot cut here. And then if I rotate this forward, there's also a slot cut in the top of the PVC. Uh, it's pretty much just like any breech loader. What you do is you rotate the uh, pin up here and then uh, slide this forward. It's a little rough, like I said, it is pretty tight on the barrel there. Opens it up, opens up a hole for to load things into the barrel. Slide it back, push it down to seal it, and you're good to fire. So yeah, um, probably clean up some of these little marks here and uh, repaint it and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that. So no more uh, loading crap in from the muzzle side. and. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. This is just kind of a cool little feature anyway. Pretty pretty simple to do. But uh, why don't I load up that 18.7 uh, gram slug again and we'll take another shot at that computer. Hopefully get a better hit on it uh, so we can really see what kind of uh, damage it'll do. So hold up and I will get that shot set up. Alright guys, we're all loaded up. We're at 575 PSI this time. Will be the uh, highest I've ever shot at with this gun. It's my first time firing this, so once again, hopefully it doesn't explode on me. I'm not sure <laughs> exactly what's going to happen here, but uh, got my safety glasses on. Safety first every time. So, all right, I'll line it up, take the shot. Hopefully this time it flies a little straighter. Once again, pretty nasty thud. Made it out all right though. Let's go take a look. And there we go. Looks like it made it through some aluminum for sure. Set the camera up here and take a look at what exactly it did. Check the back first, see if it made it all the way through. Looks like it came to right about here. It's dented out pretty nasty. But let's take a look at the inside now. I think there was a latch on this at one point. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, right here. Um, whatever. Let's just, uh, oh, you know what, I got my knife. Maybe we can just, there we go. Alright, and there's the slug. Came in through the side. I just love taking out uh, spacebar keys. Took that out, the little flapper mobile for it. And uh, yeah, broke this uh, plastic here and dented it all pretty nastily as the damage to the screen um, honestly wasn't as powerful as I thought it was going to be especially at 575 psi uh, I think it's just because the uh, I think it's just because the slug was tumbling the entire way and it hit at the side at a side angle so it lost a lot of its uh, energy just coming in at the side um, Still not too bad. Quite a bit of material back there that it went through. So, um, yeah, uh, I think we'll actually do a double feature today. I think I'll load up one of my uh, 5.2 gram steel ball bearings and uh, shoot that at it. See if we can get some better penetration here. So stay tuned for that and I'll get it all set up. All right, guys, got the chrome steel 5.2 gram ball bearing loaded up. 
at 600 PSI. That's probably about as far as I'm ever gonna take it. Not sure what that compressor will do, um, but it was sounding pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, anyway, got that loaded up. Gonna be trying to take a shot at the copper heat sink on the laptop. We'll see how accurate this thing is. Um, or see how accurate I can make it, I guess I should say. But uh, yeah, let's get that uh, set up and take the shot here. Take a look. Not sure where it hit. Oh, I got close. I'm 99% sure that's the hole right under the copper. It looks like it bent the bracket holding it. Man, I wish it would have hit that, but it did get pretty close. We're just eyeing it up with no sights whatsoever. So let's see what it did this time. You guys, sorry about that. My camera that I use actually ended up dying. Uh, just as I was about to view the damage of this. So here's the hole right here. Uh, this is going to be a little shakier. I'm using my uh, phone for this, so apologies for that. But let's take a look at what the uh, ball bearing did at 600 PSI. Right through. It's probably right in there from the looks of it. Also dented the pine board behind. Let's open her up and get a better look here. Right here she is opened up. Broke a couple of keys. Bunch of metal under here. It feels like, looks like aluminum. Blew through there, some pretty sharp edges. Pieces of screen, you can kind of see the hole. And if you look closely, if my camera will focus here. Shiny parts, actually the ball bearing is lodged in the uh, screen there and almost made it out the back. I mean, enough force that it dented the board, um, but didn't make it all the way out. I'm thinking if it wasn't pressed up against the board, it might have had enough energy to go all the way through. Um, let me dig that ball bearing out real quick. All right, there we have the ball bearing. And and there's the hole that it formed, I said almost all the way through. Those were kind of more the results I was expecting with the uh, steel slug, but um, hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be it for today. Uh, as a more or less teaser, I will say I'm working on a fan requested video next. I won't get into too many details, but it does have to do with blowing things up with pressure, so that'll probably be my next video. Stay tuned for that. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. If there's something you want to see, let me know and I'll try and get to it. Take care.